There are four chapters remaining, and we are going to look at chapter 25 in this particular section. The four chapters that remain are simulation, statistics, linear algebra, and packages. So starting with simulation in this chapter, simulation is used to do one of two things. The first thing you can use simulation for is if you have a probability question that you have answered by analytic methods, you can use Monte Carlo simulation to check that particular answer. The second thing you can use simulation for is there are some, sim there are some probability problems that simply don't have an analytic solution. It's too difficult for one reason or another. In that case, simulation can be used to approximate the uh, solution to the problem at hand. So in this particular video, I'm going to look at the following problem, and it is three men and two women sit in a row of chairs in a random order. Use Monte Carlo simulation to estimate the probability that men and women alternate. Now, if men and women alternate in this particular scenario, then if you look from left to right, you are going to have man, woman, man, woman, man, and that will be the order. So what we would like to do is basically repeat this experiment a whole lot of times, maybe a thousand or a hundred thousand times, maybe even a million times. And during those one million replications, we're actually going to put five people into five chairs in a random order. Three of them will be men, two of them will be women. And we'll see if the men, men and women alternate. There is a function that you have seen before called the sample function. And the sample function is how we're going to put the people into the chairs. So in this particular scenario, if I let the men be the odd numbers, that is 1, 3, and 5, and the women be the even numbers, which is in this case 2 and 4, you can see that this particular outcome here corresponds to the two women followed by the three men. So in that case, men and women do not alternate, so that one is a no. At that point, we can use the up arrow and just resubmit, and in this case, what we have is we have woman, man, woman, man, man. So they don't alternate in this case either. Try another. In this particular case, we've got an odd is a man, and then a woman, and then a woman, and then a man, and a man. Now, if we did this over and over and over again, we would eventually get some cases where we would have the men, that is the 1, 3, and 5, in some order in positions 1, 3, and 5. And in that case, the men and women would be alternating. In Monte Carlo simulation, we want to do this over and over and count the fraction of times that men and women alternate. So here is the code to perform that. I'm going to go up in the upper left-hand window and write a program to do that. First of all, I'm going to set a variable called nrep to a large number. And in this particular case, let's go with 100,000. That's the number of times I'm going to replicate this experiment. Then the second thing I'm going to do is set a variable called count equal to zero. I am initializing the value of count to zero and what count will do is it will count the number of these experiments in which men and women alternate. At this point, I'm going to do a for loop, and I'm going to take the index i. By the way, i will not be used. It's just a placeholder. And we're going to say for i going from 1 to 100,000, i and 1 to n rep, we want a loop. And in the loop, which is indented automatically for us, what we want to do is we want to start out by setting x equal to sample of 5, just like we did below. So the values of x now contain um, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 in a random order. 
Again, the men are the odd numbers and the women are the even numbers. At this point, we need an if statement. And basically what we're asking is, do the men and women alternate? Now, in this particular case, that's going to look like this. There are many different ways of writing this, but I'm going to say the following. If the first value times the third value times the fifth value, that is the far left chair, the middle chair, and the far right chair. If those all happen to contain men, and one way of testing for that is ask if this is equal to 15, because that says there's a 1, 3, and a 5 in those positions, but in any order. If that is true, then what we want to do is we want to take count and replace it by count plus 1. And that ends the for loop, and we have one last thing to do, and the last thing to do here is we want to print the estimate of the probability, and that is count divided by nREP. And that's our program. Count divided by nREP will be the fraction of times that men and women alternate. Before I run this problem, I'm going to get into the habit of setting the random number seed, and I'm going to set it to 3 here. That's just a mechanism that is out there that says if something very strange happens, I can go ahead and replicate it. If I didn't do that, then I wouldn't be able to get to that strange um, result. And now let's run the code. And here's what I've got. I've got 0 0.1009. So about 10% of the time, men and women will alternate. Now, it's a good idea when you're doing what is known as Monte Carlo simulation, and that's what we're doing, is to run this at least three times. So let's do that. Second time I run it, I get 0 0.1008, slightly um, larger, but not much. And I'll run it a third time, 0 0.10076. Now, all of these are awfully close to one-tenth, just off by a little bit, but they're all slightly larger than one-tenth. So the real answer, the analytic solution to this could be one-tenth or it could be a little bit bigger than one-tenth. I think what I'll do is I'll run it a couple more times. And there we got a 0 0.102 and a 1005. And here we happen to go below 0.1. So I'm, I'm thinking that the answer to this might be one-tenth. I should check this against an analytic solution. In this case, the analytic solution is not too difficult to figure out. And it turns out the analytic solution is one-tenth. So this is the first example. In a subsequent video, we'll look at another example.